Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to discuss about integer points, open sets, and some theorems related to open sets. So let's get started. What is an integer point? Okay, obviously here we are dealing with a real number set. Okay, everything with real numbers and nothing else. So what is an integer point? Imagine this in a pictorial way first. Let's have, let's say I have a set which is S. Okay, and it is a subset of the real number set. All right, so from minus infinity to infinity, I have taken one uh, subset which is capital S. Let's say X is an element of the set capital S. Then X is going to be interior point of this S set if I can find a neighborhood of X. Okay, as small as possible, doesn't matter. As small as possible, I can find a neighborhood of x, let's say I'm denoting it by n of x, such that you can see in the figure that the neighborhood is completely contained inside the capital S set. That means the neighborhood is a subset of the capital S set. Okay, so whichever point I take from the S set, if corresponding to that point, I find a neighborhood of the point such that the neighborhood becomes a complete subset of the set S, then this X point is said to be the interior point of capital S. Okay, so let's quickly take some examples. Let's say my S set is the set of all natural numbers, right? So my S set starts from the value 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and it goes on till infinity. Right. So now take any point, let's say I'm taking the point 4. Okay, so 4 is a point of the set S and I'm taking a very small neighborhood about the point 4 and let's say I'm calling it N of 4. Okay, so I've taken one small neighborhood of 4. Now you know we are dealing with real numbers. So there are infinitely many real numbers inside this neighborhood which I have marked with the blue colored ink, there are infinitely many real numbers lying inside this neighborhood of 4 which are not elements of the natural number set. That means they are not the elements of the set S. Right? So here can I say that N of 4 is a subset of S? Can I say that? No, we cannot. I cannot say this. Why? Because there are infinite number of elements inside this neighborhood which are not the elements of S. So the neighborhood is not a subset of S. This neighborhood contains many points which are not even included in the natural number set. So that means this point 4 is not an interior point. So similarly, any point of the natural number set is not an interior point. Okay. Now suppose if I take the set to be the set of all rational numbers. Okay. So that means I have the entire real line except all the irrational numbers, all the remaining other real numbers, that means the rational numbers, that is my set capital S. Okay, let's take any random point, let's say I'm taking the point 2 by 3. So this is a rational number, that means this is an element of the set capital S. Now imagine again, I'm taking a very small neighborhood around the element 2 by 3 and let's call it N of 2 by 3. Right? So taking a very small neighborhood around 2 by 3. So now you know by density property, okay, by density property of real numbers that inside a small neighborhood around a rational point, we can find infinitely many irrational numbers. Right? We can find infinitely many irrational numbers. So around a small neighborhood of any rational number, there are infinitely many rational numbers also, as well as there are infinitely many irrational numbers also by the density property, right? So therefore, can I say here that n of 2 by 3, that is a subset of S? Can I say this? No, I cannot because this neighborhood is containing several irrational numbers which are not even included in the S set. So therefore, this neighborhood is not forming a subset of S. So that means none of the rational numbers are interior points of this set, right? 
so now let's take an example where some point is a integer point actually so you can take this interval let's say i'm taking an open interval 1 to 3 okay so that means i've taken the open interval 1 to 3 and choose now choose any point inside this neighborhood inside this interval okay this is my s interval let's say i am taking my point to be the point 2 okay now take a small interval or small neighborhood around the point 2 and let's call it n of 2 okay now imagine there are infinitely many uh, real numbers inside this neighborhood and all of them are elements of s as well right so we can see this entire neighborhood whatever point it contains those points are also contained in the 1 comma 3 interval right so therefore here i can say that n of 2 is a subset of s therefore 2 is an interior point of s and we abbreviate this sentence by saying that 2 belongs to int s okay or we can also write it as s not in the power okay so s not this represents the set of all the interior points int s it represents interior of s that means the set of all the interior points of s so 2 being an element of uh, 2 being an interior point itself so 2 is one of the elements of int s okay now let's come to another small example let's say I take the set to be closed interval 1 to 3 okay so I have the closed interval 1 to 3 now again I take an element 2 so you can see I can take a neighborhood along 2 and that will be completely contained inside the interval 1 to 3 that's fine but now if I take the element 3 okay since 3 is contained in the S set so if I take the interval 3 and if I take a small neighborhood around 3, you can see very well this portion, this right hand side portion, it is going outside the set. This right hand side deep shaded portion is not even inside the set. So that means if I call this to be n of 3, the neighborhood of 3, then n of 3 is not a subset of S because some part of it has gone outside S. So that means 3 is not an integer point. So 3 does not belong to int s in this case. Similarly, I can say this boundary point 1 that is also not a part of interior of s. But if you come to this example, open interval 1 to 3, in this example neither is the element 3 nor is the element 1 contained in s. So the question that 3 and 1 will belong to int s does not even arise because those points are not even in the set. Okay. So from these two examples, from these two examples you can see, I can make one direct conclusion that if S is my open interval 1, 3, then int S, int S means the set of all the interior points of that set. So you can see all the points that I take in between 1 and 3, excluding 1 and excluding 3 because that's an open interval. So excluding 1 and 3, whatever point I take, in wherever position I take, I can always find a neighborhood that will be completely lying inside S. So that means in this case, int S will be the set itself, right? But in this example, int S will not contain the point 3 and will not contain the point 1. Although these are two elements of the S set, but they are not integer points other than 3 and 1 all the points inside this part all of them are going to be interior points just like this example so in this case the interior of s will be open interval 1 3 the set was closed but the interior becomes open okay so in general from here you can see in general what i can comment that int s is a subset of the set itself okay if the set is an open interval in this case you can see int s is becoming exactly equal to s and if the set is closed interval in this case you can see int s is a subset of the set so in general i can say that this is the relation between int s and the set s itself okay so this is the concept of interior point 
If anyone has any questions, please do ask me in the comment section. Thank you for watching.